Yeah, I don't I don't believe in washing your hands after t urinating. Maybe before because you don't want your dirty your dirty hands have been touching everything in the world. True. And then you put them on your dick. Right. Right? And then you wash your hands. It's like what about your dick? You just transferred all the germs. Some people actually do wash their hands before and after. Before though. and after. Yeah. I guess that would make sense. But afterwards I don't see a reason because it's like, you know, my dick's <clears throat> fine. I mean I haven't been doing it. Should know. be clean. It's <laughs> unless it got into something that I'm not aware of. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it ought to be clean. Right. So clean dicks, it's a necessity for all guys. You know, Just saying, as, as much as we know, try to avoid it, we always end up talking about dicks every episode. I mean, dicks are pretty funny, actually. <laughs> it's just funny to say. Dick. Dicks. Johnson. Penis. Wang. Dong. Charlie. Love, love heartily. <laughs> My favorite, which I heard in the love movie. Love uh, No, love truncheon. Right, truncheon. For our non-UK viewers, which I'm pretty sure is everyone, uh, a truncheon is what uh, the British police or bobbies use to enforce <laughs> order on the streets. Bobby's good too, because they don't have handguns over there. Hey, I'm the one with a club in front. Heavy hair to hop, but that's the pedigree point. My side complex is we ahead of this chunk. Head bust a light victor with the verbal jalop. Head launching on the bottom of my knee get pumped. Got a juice like Let's do it. This is the New Low News Show. I'm MC Graham. I'm King Kobe. I am fucking Adam. See, we are having a bit of narrative difficulty tonight because there were a lot of things that happened to us in the past seven days that none of us want to talk about. We can't talk about it on the air. Ex That's the problem. So, Adam... I have a question for you. Can you describe why you don't want to talk about the things that happened to you this week? Theoretically, there could be a jury <laughs> out. Okay. You know what I mean? So... The jury is literally out. Theoret like, that is a possibility. So you were, like, you the were, things that I have witnessed, you know what I mean? Like you were, you were with a witness to crimes or... Let's cr alleged crimes. Go on to the next topic. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just saying. You know, mm -hmm. there are certain things that I can't talk about. The jury's still out on it. Theoretically, like no joke. You know what I mean? So it's so for real, but theoretically. For real, but theoretically. Okay, let me just fill in the blanks. Adam acted like a literal superhero <laughs> last week. Come on, man. He he was the hero Baltimore deserved, but the mm. one it didn't need right now, or however it goes in Batman: The Dark Knight. <laughs> And that's what happened, and we can't talk about it. But he, right, do not be well, mistaken. Well, because it's written down in several police. You, you did talk to the police, right, Adam? I'm not trying to put words. In uh, mouth. twice this week. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I it's mean, the worst. <laughs> come on now, give me a fucking break. Christmas week, you right. know what I mean? Right. Oh, I didn't even tell you about this. I went to the hospital on Christmas Day. But you were in the hospital. Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, you know, I, just, I didn't go to the hospital. I went to okay, the hospital. We're in a hospital. Okay, yeah, okay. I was in a hospital okay. Christmas Day, and then I also talked to the police Christmas Day. <laughs> <laughs> no, was it yesterday? What did I tell you guys? Yesterday or two days ago? I think it was yesterday. I had to call the police again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty epic. You know, not even a good epic. <laughs> you know, almost died a couple times too in the last in this last week. Too. Yeah, well, that'll happen. So we're how, all, how we're is all that, dying. How has that affected your state of mind? Are you looking over your shoulder? Nervous? Paranoid? Keep going. You, you're um, correct. I'm just saying. What okay, else can you nervous, riff off? Nervous, paranoid, you know, <laughs> depressive, anxious. Depressive um, and anxious, no. I'm yeah. actually feeling pretty good about myself right now. That's interesting because... Yeah. Um, it's possible that all this activity has actually caused you to sort of, like, it's maybe sort of jump-started you a little bit. Absolutely, right. yeah. So you're, you know, maybe... Uh, a little bit more focused, a little bit more driven. Right. Well, you know, the great uh, American philosopher uh, Charles Manson said that... <laughs> Paranoia is absolute awareness. So in this state, you've actually maybe reached something new. And um, he also theorized helter skelter, which right. is still a viable. Uh, <laughs> no, Adam did not theorize that. Okay. I'm just. I'm <laughs> oh not, no, Charles Manson. Yeah, yeah, I don't know who the he no, was. No, the great, in that. the great living guru Charles Manson. Right. He theorized a coming war. Something happened to me. I also can't talk about it. Something happened to Kobe. Yeah, um, I've been I've been off of work. Right for like 10 days but you're putting work in uh you could say that right yeah yeah you're doing yeah. a home installation 
That's yeah. right. Well, not so to speak. It's a, it's an expression that we use here. I, I there was some I laid some pipe. Right. Because you're a plumber. I I can be called upon to do certain jobs. He's a contractor. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm not a regular plumber. Right. Right. Uh, well, sometimes. Especially not recently. <laughs> not, not for a long time. <laughs> uh, in the past, I have been. I have found regular work laying pipe. Right. And at, at certain points, you would consider yourself kind of good at fixing the joints and making sure that the foundation uh, is put yeah. in correctly. You have to, you have to practice, right, with the, with your client, right? Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, have you ever had um, some type of training or and or not necessarily training, but like um, an apprenticeship by any chance? <laughs> some self improvement or mm-hmm. like a do it yourself I practice kind a of lot. thing i practice a lot do you install okay, yeah. much time. pipe in your in your in your own domicile yeah. i mostly polish pipe <laughs> that's I, uh, okay yeah all right yeah yeah i work i work on the various fittings honestly that makes more sense because once it's nice and smooth it just goes right in you got the installation correct that's the you idea know exactly yeah. the exact technique it's practice it works. it's practice makes perfect i would hope so when exactly you're, when you're, usually practice makes like fair when you're when you're on the work site, right? Do you uh, apply the appropriate uh, safety and corrective measures? Absolutely. When you're installing. Yes. Okay. Right. I do always. Nice. Yes, I, I always do put a, a covering over the pipe. Right. Thing. Right. Uh, you have to make sure that you don't want some type of spillage. You know what I mean? Right. You Leakage. want that seal nice and tight. Right. <laughs> Otherwise, things start growing. Right. Uh, things that you have to get rid of. Exactly. Well, you have to pay for it for a long time. <laughs> I'm just saying, once that moss builds up on underneath, you no, know, you got to you got to scrape saying. it all out. You gotta, yeah, whatever, whatever's growing in there, you got to get it out of there, or it'll ruin it'll ruin your life. It'll ruin it's your. It's actually whole... kind of funny that you mentioned that. Mm-hmm. You know, no joke. I met a contractor. One of his cousins was a plumber, and his home remedy for moss was a hanger. It was insane. Mm. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I'd prefer the Plan B pill. That's my. I mean, Drano. <laughs> you know what I mean. No, I know that. It's a little pill. You just drop it in, and then... Yeah, you know, yeah, and then you... What we're talking it's about... the next choice to... to <laughs> I got it. What we're talking about is Kobe was having sex. I had intercourse with right. a, with another another person. That's as vague as I'll be about it. Right. I mean, I had... I had <laughs> literally today for breakfast, I had gummy bears. Uh... <laughs> I saw the photo on Facebook. Actually. No, that was breakfast the day before. So the day before was gummy bears and Mountain Dew. Today I decided to cut out the sugar, mm. so I had gummy bears and <laughs> just coffee. Cut out coffee. Yeah. most of the sugar. Right. So, so you had gummy bears. Um, what, did, what did you do after that? I You spent time with somebody, didn't you? I think. I don't want to talk about that. You know, yeah, you don't care to talk. Well, I didn't care to talk about my life, but you know, I did. You know, right. some things have to be discussed. Right. You, know I mean? Where, you did spend time with a, a, a human. Right. A human. Well, that's that's did, step one for Graham. I did think. this human have a gender? It was it a female. Had a gender. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> she was a girl. Okay, right? okay, okay, that's okay. cool. That's cool. She had then certain parts, right? Uh, female sexual dimorphism. There was. Uh, well, sorry, I I only, I only went to. Community college. What's uh, up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the uh, the physical difference between m- men and women, or, oh, okay. or male and female in a species. Okay. So she possessed that difference. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so by that you're saying I was a dude and she was a chick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah y'all could fuck. Right. And then, uh, what? Like, what? Maybe. I, all right. I guess I don't want to go that far. So you spent time together. Right. And, it was a good time. Uh, you know, <laughs> like, isn't that a little judgmental? Honestly. To say that a time you had with the person was good or bad. Graham, I'm going to interrupt you. Okay. All right. I didn't say shit. Okay. I was asking a question. <laughs> was it a good time? This is not a yes or no question. Let me just preface that, if you will. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, that's good. Okay, <laughs> there fine. we go. Okay, we're... <laughs> Progression. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I admit it. I admit it. I had contact with another human being. Okay. Other than me and Kobe. Right. No. That was a female. <laughs> right. Earlier tonight. Yes. Okay. 
contact. I'm not going to say what kind. You can't get me to go any further. That's no problem. Right. You know why it's not a problem? Why? Because we're going to turn the mic off right now, and then you get to tell us everything. Okay. Fuck you, fuck him, and fuck her shit, too. You got it all wrong, thinking that we won't do it. All right, so what's on your mind tonight, guys? Well, 2013's on my mind. Okay. That shit is crazy. Uh, it's like, like, I thought buildings would be different, higher, taller, you know, neon More lights glow everywhere. glow dark. And, exactly, yeah. Right. Nightlife I, would be the new thing, you know. I, I've had two moments in my life where I thought the space age is here, or whatever the post-space <laughs> age age is going to be is here. And that was when I went to the bank once. Uh, the first time that I saw that you could just feed the check into the machine and they could read it. Yeah. And just tell you the amount without you putting in anything. Exactly. I I, I knew I had arrived. Well, you know, there's actually you can take a photograph of your paycheck. Exactly. Now. That and seems possibly. a little yeah. just so you can feel like you're kind of like in the future every time you deposit a check or something like that. No, just so I can get the fuck out of the drive through a little bit quicker. <laughs> I don't have efficient. to fill out a goddamn deposit slip. Are we still filling out deposit <laughs> slips on the on the face of an envelope? Do I really trust a bank teller? I mean, come on now. <laughs> So, Grant, what was the other time? Oh, the other time was when, uh, like, uh, like I'm in I'm in grad school, so we have to do like a lot of group projects. But because everyone is like usually working or have some other or has some other things going on, there isn't a lot of time to get together. So we use uh, Google Docs, um, and the fact that you could uh, edit the document while like multiple people can edit the same document right. once, and also have a chat running in the same window. So you can talk to each other. So you can be working on the document and also talking about it. Right. That Discuss was awesome. changes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That wow. was awesome. Like so that so those were the two moments for me where I thought we have actually made forward progress. Every other <laughs> step has been a lateral move in one way or right. another, as far as I can tell. Uh, recently when I was actually buying um, a gift for Christmas, I was in the Apple store. So see one guy in the I'm physical like, Apple store. The physical Apple store at the IRL the, Apple. The IRL, <laughs> no dot coms, no dot orgs, no Amazon, nothing. Right. You know, I physically drove to the mall. Whoa. Far yeah, out. the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure who goes there anymore, but there still were a lot of people there. It was interesting. Mm -hmm. So anyway, going to the store, seeing an associate, he helps me. He finds the product, the exact product I need, which was great. So I was like, okay. And uh, he grabs it. He's like, this is the only color that we got. It's, it's closest to black. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, yeah, perfect. That's exactly what I want. He's like, all right, well, anything else for you? And I'm like, no, that's it. He's like, and he's looking around for like a cashier, like an open cashier. It's fucking Christmas time. You know, everybody is full. You know, like all the employees, everybody cashier wise, just completely occupied. So he's like, well, how are you going to pay for this? I'm like, just a visa. He's like, oh, okay. So he takes his phone, scans <laughs> you know, the barcode. You know he's waiting to do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> scans the barcode, all uh -huh. right? And he's like, okay, uh, your card? So I give him my card, okay? Swipes the card on the same fucking device. On okay? his phone? On the phone. Oh, yeah, I've seen, I've seen yeah. that. I've seen that. No, but it's like there's like an attachment, right. you know what I mean, that you swipe like uh, perpendicular to the actual phone. No. This phone was actually equipped with that, so he actually swiped it vertically, I if should. that makes any difference. I should. So I'd never seen that before. Right. Yeah. So then he tells me, okay, no problem. Would you like your receipt printed or emailed? <laughs> Blew my fucking mind. I'm like, uh, email? He's like, okay, what's your email? Give him my email. My phone fucking goes off because I received... You got notified. I got notified <laughs> of a receipt. fucking email. He's like, all right, thanks a lot, man. Do you want a bag? I'm like, yeah, a bag would be good. He's like, all right, man. So grabs me a bag, puts the shit in the bag. He's like, have a good night. Wow. Later. So, you know, like, so he could have rung you up like anywhere. You know? Anywhere. The bathroom. Yeah, right? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Parking lot. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty far out. Yeah. What's the problem now? Wait, I said enough. Everybody knows you fuck with one and get us. I remember exactly where I was when, I swear to God, it's too hard to say, but I was in Atlantic City, <clears throat> excuse me, with my dad, mm -hmm. and I was watching a documentary about Steve Jobs. It was. Oh, that dude day that fucking, you know. After he died. And I was in Atlantic City. I should have been in Towson Mall. Yeah. I should have been at the Apple Store. Well, why, you know. Well, why do you need to like pay respects to his if, corpse like a superstitious? 
if I waited, you know, if my alarm clock didn't go off, you know what I mean? I would not have answered my dad's phone call to go to Atlantic City. Yeah, well, like, and, I'm, you know. So what's the point? My point is, is that Steve Jobs is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't care you know, about his death. Right. You know, it was an interesting documentary. You know, don't get me wrong. It just it was kind of cool to see how the company got built up. It's right. Kind of cool. Like an empire. And, like, I just like the money aspect of it. It's just kind of cool to me. Um, you like money. I do, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's a hate, love, uh, you know, yeah, disrespect typical. relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, we also drink here at the new low, oh, in case you can't tell. Delicious. Let me try that. Graham's drinking a uh, Shiner, what is that, Graham? Shiner, Shiner holiday, holiday Cheer. Beer. Or, sorry, sorry, Holiday Cheer, product of Spotsville, Texas. Can I say this? Sure. Okay. You sound better than I will. Shiner Holiday Cheer, Spotsville Brewery. Ale brewed with peaches and pecans, mm. and with natural flavor and caramel color. Mm. Twelve fluid ounces. Mm. <laughs> Three fluid ounces. <laughs> yeah, damn, I, I didn't even. Wow, like, that is actually really fucking amazing. I know, I know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't look at the wow. uh, the sort of the flavor text when I was picking it out. I was just like holiday cheer. I'm gonna cheer for the holidays. You know? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Well, New Year's Eve is coming up, also known as Amateur Night. It's always amusing to me when I see advice uh, being posted and reposted and shared online. Oh, like uh, about drinking, right? About how to drink safely, about especially how to avoid the getting too drunk, quote right. unquote, too drunk, whatever that means, and avoid. I... A hangover or something like that. But it's very ironic that you have these people who drink maybe a couple times a year to access telling each other how not to get a hangover. What is the best hangover cure if you only drink a couple times a year? Sack up and deal with it. Oh (laughs) my god, you're hungover on January 1st? Congratulations. You're like the rest of the planet. (laughs) Oh, you know, are you going to fucking die if you don't feel 100% perfect you know, at 2 p.m. when you never feel 100% perfect at that time anyway. Right. Right. So who are these articles exactly written for? I want to know. I want the government, because we're so interested in mental health these days, to track mm. down the people who these articles are written for and to identify them so I can avoid them at parties because I know they're part of the enemy camp. Honestly, I did... No joke, dude. I actually did do a Hair of the Dog Mm. Uh, somewhat recently it was like a few weeks ago I've been doing it all week I've been off work though <laughs> <laughs> no man it was great like I woke up and like the rest of my beer was there it's just like <sighs> wow it was quite an intense wow it really sucked Gulp. down yeah yeah and um no Did joke suck a golf Dude. ball through a garden house 20 minutes later I felt better and he felt <laughs> <laughs> Something silly is just like the wind I'm hitting right now. Seriously. <sighs> Colby, like <laughs> the situation. Stacy, I already know what you're gonna say. Like, Seriously, just don't, can you you whore, can you let me finish my fucking sentence for um, once? Slut, yeah, I can, but I, maybe I didn't want to, but go ahead. The situation at the liquor store, like, oh my God. I was looking at the whipped cream, okay? Like, it was fucking cool. Yeah. They had you raspberry. You were looking at the whipped cream, and, mid, and you were like, mocha, oh my god, this cinnamon. is so awesome. But seriously, it's just like one of those situations where my brain was going, ah, ah, I get it. I get it. I get it, you melodramatic bitch. Hello. I get it, okay? Like, I was just looking at the whipped cream. It was alcoholic, okay? It was like a whole pint, and I was thinking, like, I could get drunk on this. That's just what I was thinking. Maybe I was a little spacey, but... I don't want to tell you this now, but it's, I'm a little drunk, so I'm just saying, you're fat enough, okay? You don't need to be chugging whipped cream. You went there. You went there, you put it on the table, you opened it up. Uh, like, you were about to open up that fucking can of whipped cream. Yeah, I went there. Seriously? You know I'm trying to lose this weight, Stacy. That's a low blow, you... 
Seriously, I told you to put the can down. I didn't think that it was going to be a big deal. Well, it was right we in front of that cute Indian guy. Oh, my God. He was so cute, wasn't he? He was. And, 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 oh, my God. We should have got his number. And I was trying to look, maybe, make a little ditzy, because guys tend to like that. I think he did look at you, though. You know? See? But you can't eat the whipped cream if you want to be the you were all like, no, guy. here's what you were, you were all, you were all, all right. like, I'm looking out like, for your, hello. you were like, hello, put the oh, can down, Stacy. Oh my God. Like a seriously. total cunt. Coley, seriously. <laughs> you can't eat whipped cream if you want to get cute Indian guys. <laughs> it's that simple. Seriously. So is this, uh, is this all based on a true story? Uh, what you guys are talking about right yeah, now? Yeah, it is. Um, all right, me and Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> me and Kobe, we were up at the uh, liquor store earlier uh, tonight. Oh, well, this does not make sense to you. So we were at the liquor store at some point <laughs> before the recording of the show. That's um, always true, by the way. <laughs> uh, two months running, yes. <laughs> I get my six pack, you know, got the Bud Light Platinum, decided to change it up. That's not true. I usually just get Bud Light. But anyway, I got the Platinum. This Adam, time. you whore, get to the point of the story. <laughs> you but, cunt, shut the fuck up. Actually, I have a question. What is the difference between Bud Light Platinum and Bud Light? Alcohol content. So Platinum's more, less? Yes, more. Okay. Awesome. More. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Okay. Just, just out of curiosity. Okay, okay yeah. so. We're <clears> buying <throat> some beer for Adam, or Adam was buying some beer. You bitch. Seriously. Can I finish my story? <laughs> You know what? Go ahead. Okay, listen, slut. So we were at the counter at the checkout, okay? And this cute Indian guy, that's still part of the story. Correct. Uh, was looking at us. Anyway, so I saw this shit. I don't know if you've seen it. So it's whipped cream that has alcohol content. And I found this very mesmerizing for some reason. Uh, for some reason. Yeah. See, honestly, though, I will interject you for a quick second. Mm -hmm. Because we have been to the liquor store up by uh, Kobe's place. Right. Kobe has always looked at the whipped cream cans at his liquor store. It's cool. We live in the future. There's alcohol and whipped cream. <laughs> it's interesting. <clears throat> Still. I... So every single week, now it is apparently a tradition if Kobe sees canned alcoholic whipped cream, he has to stare it's at the shit. It's not a tradition, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a routine. <laughs> it just happened that way. But the point of the story... Yeah. Because I was looking at the can. Adam had already finished his purchase. He was ready Transaction to leave. over, six pack in hand, keys in my other hand, ready to go out to the door. And Adam said very sternly, Kobe, put the can down. And uh, it was weird because me and, me and Kobe both looked at the guy. <laughs> <laughs> This guy like smiled and like nodded, but like he had this look. You know? Sorry, these homos. These yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, that was what that was what I said when we were leaving. I said, you know, it, that guy, like we were like like a like a, a gay know, couple, right? Yeah. And Adam, had, it, you know, was fed up with me today or something. <laughs> so Adam was playing top. <laughs> of course. Oh, I'm a natural bottom. I'll be the first one to admit it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, New Year's resolutions. What are yours? I'm perfect. Uh, <laughs> I've thought long and hard about this all, right. all this afternoon, <laughs> I would say. And yeah, I think I'm good the way I am. You know, just fucking hauling ass, making, making Skrilla. <laughs> Uh, kicking motherfuckers mm -hmm. in the head, you know. S stacking paper. Stacking paper the ceiling fan. Uh, yeah, so I'm good. <laughs> I, have, I have resolutions. I have resolutions for the rest of the world, though. Oh wow! You're so you're projecting, like you're demanding that the rest of the world. Yeah, I He's list of demands. You know. Oh, okay. okay, so what are your resolutions for the rest of the world? You know, stop it with all the war. You know. Right. Hmm. It's just, it's uncool. That's okay. how I'd put it. It's not wrong or anything like that. It's just war is silly. Uh, I'm not down with killing. I'm down with chilling, you know? It's old-fashioned. It's, uh, yeah, it's it's some World War II shit, you know? <laughs> That's some 1940s shit. Like, there were no smartphones or internet. That's when you could have a war. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. Now it's, you know, it's lame. Yeah, like, who, who wants to get go to war, it. right? Yeah. Um, especially because we've lost all the wars, right? <laughs> right. I mean, what? The war on terror? Uh, lost. Still going on. Well, it's ongoing, allegedly. But I mean, what? who are we fighting? If we didn't reason? finish it, then we failed. Well, well. I mean, here's the thing with the war on terror. 
How much money did we spend on it? I don't want to even want to talk about that. <laughs> <Right then. Yeah. laughs> Nobody does. Yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> How, like, I don't even want to hear the number. You look, you look at that shit from 2001, 2012, we're talking trillions and trillions of dollars. Shh. You know? Oh, that's their dear your whore mouth. Okay. <laughs> so, what other wars have there been? We have the war on poverty. Who won that one? Uh, poverty that, that ended in the like sixties, right? I believe. But it's a poverty one. We've just like poverty wins. Yes, right. We've just realized Poor so that, hard. Like, yeah. Uh, let's see. The war on drugs. Who won that one? Yes, drugs. Uh, cannabis won right. that war because right. uh, <laughs> it's now legal in uh, two states and one district. Well, right. and besides that, you think. The country with the largest military in the world, the you know a very rich country with lots of resources as, at its disposal, could keep a plant from being sold on the streets, and uh, I could get pot right now. Like I could, I could get it in an hour. I could meet somebody in a Seven Eleven parking lot and get pot. And I'm even I'm not even friendly. I don't even know that. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he he's a total like schizoid, and he could get cannabis. Right. So, so imagine all those people that know people. And so so drugs have won right. that war. Mm-hmm. I mean, how did people think it was going to go? Think of it as a generation gap. So, for example, before us, like before we could even think of what we really wanted in life, you know what I mean? It was the war on drugs. Like our parents, I think they're a little more idealistic than we were. So when they declared war on poverty, war on drugs, war on terror, they all kind of bought into it. It's like, yeah, we can end poorness and mm-hmm. drug use. And people shooting each other, and, and, and other <laughs> all these sh- things that have been with humanity yeah, forever for like thousands and thousands of years. I think I think what you're telling me is that women 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 need to know that Adam <laughs> is a caveman. You know, like he's not just a pretty voice; he's also <laughs> a sexual tyrannosaurus, right? Like. Yeah, he's an apex predator, a super predator, but not like a like a weird way, but in a in a in a good sort of positive, life affirming, sexual way. <laughs> the so whatever. last time I got laid was back in February. All right, mm. it was bad. Mm. It sucked. Is there any chance that that particular woman is going to listen in and, uh, <laughs> and and be embarrassed by that disclosure? The revelation. Woman? <laughs> New low, bunch of fags. You know? <laughs> Three straight white guys that can't get enough of each other. Right, see that's the thing. It's like, you guys can't see this, but when we're broadcasting and recording, we're all hard, right? Yeah, Greg in particular. Yeah, especially me. Like, uh, there are... Th- it actually Dude. gets in the way. I'm like, Greg, you want to get me a beer? He stands up. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. It's like he's pitching ton on the side of a mountain. But no, there are two things that make me rock hard. It's my voice and Adam's voice. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because I had a similar Wait. conversation. I, uh, I actually, I told someone at one point, wasn't a girl, but I told someone that I, <laughs> what I want, what I thought about was jerking off and drinking a beer and like staring at the person, like so they didn't even need to touch me. All right, you know, right. so it's just kind of like They're just around. Yeah, here it is, you know, Eche Omo, you know, behold the man, Eche Graham, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Two things I want to mention right now. One, I think the title of this episode should be This is not going up tonight. You know? I think it should still be White Girl Wasted because I mean I am White Girl Wasted. I'm White Girl Wasted. Frank. Okay, so cut rap. We're not gonna talk about any gay shit anymore. We're not gonna talk about our dicks until next week.